most people say I'll, I'll believe it when I see it, mm-hmm. right? You can't see it first. You have to believe it first, mm-hmm. right? Exactly. You got to believe it. Yeah. If you believe it, then you will take action on it, exactly. right? Yeah. If you got to see it, it's not there. Mm-hmm. You're not going to ever take action. You're going to remain exactly where you are, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. faith is a, is, a, is a huge component in, in, in being successful. So traditionally, we, we learn all the false truths about business like it takes two to five years to build a business yep. you got to get a business loan you got to have venture to capital you got to bootstrap your way to the top all those things that we learned was completely wrong mm-hmm. right so when i learned about government contracts the biggest phenomena and aha moment was that no it does not take two to five years to grow a business you can grow a business highly profitable if you're selling to the right person mm-hmm. right but most people don't know that yeah a lot of times people are ready to give up because of their situations and because of their circumstances. But the man of God, he said, he said, well, go borrow the oil, right? She said, borrow. Yeah, he was teaching her entrepreneurship. He was teaching her how to create wealth. That's the wealth principle. He said, go borrow the oil and bring it back to me. And so she borrowed oil from everybody who owed her and everybody in the community who would give her the oil and came back with so much abundance. Not only was she able to help him, she helped herself and she was able to actually make money with the overflow, wow. right? Yeah. And so borrowing, mm. I mean, this is not a new thing. That's a Bible bar. That's a, I'm just saying, <laughs> you have to borrow money to get rich. Yeah. If you don't have it, yeah. figure it out. Use yeah. other people's money. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I know you want to watch this next video, but listen, if you are an entrepreneur, business coach, business consultant, or a small business owner who has a story and wants to learn how to create multiple streams of income from your story, I need you to text me right now. My book to 646-687-4152. That is my personal number. I have been an author for over 12 years. I've written 10 books. Four of them have been bestsellers, and I've sold over 100,000 books, but I've also helped a lot of my clients take their expertise and put it into a story, then create multiple streams of income from that. So I want to help you do the same thing. So text my book to 646-687-4152. All right, let's go back to the video. So welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. When you look on the news, you're always hearing about recessions, about how bad the economy is, the stocks are going down, people don't know what's happening, people are laying off, right, so the jobs are being lost every now and then, and AI is about to take over, automation, all of these things that are happening has everybody frightened and worried about their financial security. Today, our show is going to ease your tension, your worry, your fears, because we have a 20-year business vet who successfully built two small businesses. She teaches small business entrepreneurs how to grow their business with government contracts so they can have consistent sustainable income and get paid top dollars by the number one largest purchaser of service in the United States without having to chase customers. Over the past couple of years, this government contract strategist has helped over 200 plus entrepreneurs generate upwards of $3 million in growing in revenues, an award-winning business expert, founder of She's Got Goals, LLC, and the Trillion Dollar Secrets of Government Contracts. Welcome, Dr. Carwana <laughs> D is thank in the you. building. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank uh, you. Oh, man, I'm excited yeah. about this episode because um, a couple of things is um, people don't realize how lucrative government contracts Absolutely. are. Um, and I've had... Um, once I was introduced to the concept, Mm -hmm. um, I've had people who like are killing it in this space and it's almost one of those things that, that, that it's, it's, it sounds too good to be true, but it makes sense, right? Right. Because the government has access to all this money, but they don't have 
the products and services. So you think about it, you're like, yo, it makes sense that they, they're going to need people to fulfill those, yes, right? absolutely. Um, and so, I, I, and so I, I, I love the concept of government contract. Um, and I love um, the angle that you take as it relates to government contract because there's different uh, ways you can approach uh, government contracts. Absolutely. But before we get to all of that, yes. for those who don't know, <laughs> Who is Dr. Kawana yes, D? Yes, thank you so much for having me here. I am Dr. Kawana D. I'm a government contract strategist who help entrepreneurs, of course, um, not only grow lucrative businesses with government contracts, but create generational wealth mm. um, and create uh, legacies, you know, for their business. And so, in essence, you know, I'm a mom, all those great things as well. Um, but yeah, that's in, in a nutshell. That's what I do and who I am. And, and so, and so, what is government contracts and like? How did you stumble across it? Yeah. So good question. So in essence, basically, government contracting uh, in the simplest form is doing business with the government. Okay. It's, a, it's an exchange for a large lump sum of money mm. in exchange for your services or your products. And so basically, you're acquiring the government as your client. And mm. that's what government contracting is. And so, um, in fact... The U.S. government, um, and most people don't even know this, that in so in 2019 was the year of COVID, right? Mm -hmm. um, in 2019, the U.S. government spent six trillion dollars mm -hmm. in business on business products and, and services. Wow! Now this was the federal government. Mm -hmm. Now in 2020, in right during and in the middle of pandemic, a, a year into it, um, that monies increase to mm. 10 trillion and of that 26 percent is obligated to be spent with small business entrepreneurs who provides products and services so that's wow. 2.6 trillion dollars that's on the table mm. on the federal level mm. for small business products and you know for for small businesses right wow. um, but most people don't know mm. that and this is the reason why I coined it the trillion dollar secret to government contracts yeah. but yet you have during that period so many mom and pop businesses mm. so many traditional businesses that have been around for decades mm -hmm. that had to close their doors simply business, because yeah. they did not know mm -hmm. this one thing that could have saved their business. Wow, wow, mm -hmm. wow. And so what, what, what was that that uh, defining moment where you like, you know, hit the <laughs> hit the jackpot? Like what this looked like is like, you know, when they when they when they dig it for gold and then they hit that one thing and then now, you know, the oil is is is, is, yeah, is yeah, like, yeah. like what, what was that moment for, for Kiwana that, that had you <laughs> saying like, oh, my God, this is. This is the one. Yeah. You know, so prior to my knowledge about doing business with the government, I, in fact, most people, when they hear that, they're like, doing business with the government, you think war, Fact. right? You think weapons, you yeah. think all those things. But, you know, there's so many things that you can sell to the government, I'll, and I'll get into that in just a moment. But prior to my knowledge of that, mm. I sold to individual people, mm. and I sold to other small businesses. Yeah. And so my business struggled, right? Mm. So traditionally, we, we learn all the false truths about mm. business like it takes two to five years to build a business yep. you got to get a business loan you got to have venture to capital you got to bootstrap your way to the top all those things that we learned was completely wrong mm -hmm. right so when i learned about government contracts the biggest phenomena and aha moment was that no it does not take two to five years to grow a business you can grow a business highly profitable if you're selling to the right person mm -hmm. right but most people don't know that yeah. and so um for me during the struggle right I started actually doing um, B2B, which is the B2, business to business, yep. business model, um, and freelancing for other entrepreneurs. And one of them just happened to be an African-American billionaire, mm. right? And he grew up in the same hood that I grew up mm. in, right? We, we went to the same church. Wow. And um, what I found, I just started asking questions like, dude, like, be real, like, because, yeah. like, I was really struggling in business, mm -hmm. but I was working full time in my business, mm -hmm. making less than part time income. And what income. was your business? Like, and so at the video production, okay. photography yeah. okay. services. Dope. So I have yeah. a whole media company yeah. and I was really struggling, you know, to get it off the ground. I yeah. mean, I made money, but it wasn't enough to live off of. And so yeah. I just asked the question, like, how did you do it? How did you build a multi-billion dollar right. company in yeah. such a short amount of time? And he took a serious look at me and he said, well, the same thing that you're doing for me, which mm -hmm. was building his portfolios with video production and all those things. He said, you can actually do that for the government and they will pay you, pay you very well. Wow. That to me, was Let like me stop because my video people <laughs> get, look, look, don't get no ideas. <laughs> yeah. That to me was like, oh my God, like, are you serious? Yeah. Right? Like, seriously? Yeah. And so I did everything that I could over the next, you know, year or two years to try to really figure out how to make government contracting work for me. And at the time, I was probably making like 30,000, but I was working like 
50, 60 hours a week, yeah. right? That's slave money. Right. I created a job right. and I was broke, Thanks. right? Because yeah. there's, yeah. there's two ways that you can build a business. You can build a business for broke mm -hmm. if you don't understand how business really works. Yeah. And you can build a business that will create a legacy for you, right? Yeah. So most entrepreneurs start to build a business for broke. And yeah. so, um, you know, so I took a serious look at that. And I got started with government contract. And of course, I did it wrong mm -hmm. the first time. Yeah. But I was so determined to become that next billionaire, just mm -hmm. like the, you know, the young man that I knew. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to figure this thing out. Right. Mm -hmm. And so the first contract that I landed, it was literally for 28 days mm -hmm. over that 28 day period. It was two hours a day, mm -hmm. which totals 56 hours. Mm -hmm. And it was for seventy thousand dollars. And for me, that was life-changing income because most people work 40-hour work weeks and right. don't even make that That's, in a year, yeah. right? But I was able to do that in a 28-day period. Mm -hmm. And I said, hmm, hmm, you know, there's something to right, this, right, right? right? And the first thing that came to my mind was like all these things like, oh, my God, we learned about business wrong, right? Yeah. We learned that Chris, Christopher Columbus discovered America. Fact. That was a lie, right? right? Yeah. We learned the American dream is to get a college degree and you're going to get a job that pays you that you, and most people end up in debt forever. Facts. That's a lie. Facts. And I'm like, how many truths yeah. do I really need to learn? Yeah. And so I start educating myself, right? Yeah. And so from there, I'm like, this is the trillion dollar mm. secret to government contracts because I discovered that the government, not only do they print money, mm. but they're obligated to yeah. spend this money, yeah. right, with small, business, uh, small businesses, right, yeah. who provide products and services. And what I realized was that the government, right, the government is a building full of people, mm -hmm. right? They're just individual people in a building yeah. under an entity, yeah. right? And they consume everything, literally. Mm -hmm. They have lights, mm -hmm. somebody has to provide that. The government cannot source its own products or services. Mm -hmm. They have to go externally to get that, including food, mm -hmm. things like light, communication services, um, event planning, photography, video, video production, mm -hmm. like everything, like literally. I have clients that sell prosthetic wigs to the government. Mm -hmm. And wow. so when I realized that, I said, you know what, this is the trillion dollar secret Wow. that most people don't know wow. like it's a secret it's hidden in plain sight yeah and then as i began to do my research and you can stop me if i'm if, if you have no, a question good, jump in at any I, time. Know, I know i know my audience is like <laughs> you know? right, tell us more <laughs> yeah. as i began to do my research i i found that people like jeff bezos yep. have a government contract mm. elon musk have government contracts mm. canon nikon uh star kiss tuna like all of wonder bread mm. every successful 500 fortune company wow. has government contracts. And I'm like, they don't tell these people mm. this, right? And then, so I realized that not only are they obligated to spend this money with small businesses, right? But small businesses are those who consider, according to the SBA, is anyone that has under 500 employees. So mm. when you are wow. the only solopreneur, you're right. like, where do I fall exactly. in? Because yeah. I don't even have one employee. Right. It's right. just me, right? right? So you're considered a micro disadvantaged small business. Mm. And what I found was that there's pools, pools of money for that. Mm. There's, there's special money set aside specifically to help small businesses become big businesses. Mm. And so, yeah, that was a phenomenon for me. Wow. And so walk, walk us through sort of like the process, right? Because, you know, salute to my brother, Jason White. Uh, he does government contracts. Mm -hmm. um, his, his, his game is a little different, right? So mm -hmm. he, you know, is sort of like, uh, he does middleman, right? right? So, right, right. you know, he finds a government contract um, and whether he knows, you know, how, to do, the how to do the or service not. or not, yeah. you know, he'll, he'll secure that government contract then he'll find a you know a company that actually provides that product or service, um, and then he'll you know be the middleman, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And he'll you know he'll pay them whatever they charge and whatever is left over he takes for himself. Yes. And that's straight you know middle middleman, yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. Um, you have a different approach. Talk, talk, yeah. talk to us about your approach. So um, yeah, there's there's like three different ways that you can actually position your. I mean, so many different creative ways yeah. right to get money from the government number one is the the middleman approach where you're outsourcing the work number two is to be a consultant and mm -hmm. go get contracts for other people mm -hmm. and number three is to get business contracts for yourself mm -hmm. you can still scope out um, a subcontract for someone else and mm -hmm. build a team that way as mm -hmm. well and so for me i teach people the 
the whole business mm. of doing business government contracting, like the whole business model of the which which is called B to G, business mm. to government, mm. right? Mm -hmm. That's the business model most people do, have never heard of. It's B to C, business to consumer, yep. B to B, business to business, but B to G mm. is the most lucrative business model that you can actually have, mm. right? And so for me, it was like the reason why I teach that is because I. In order to do business for the government, number one, you have to be a credible business. There are certain checkpoints in business that you have to have. Mm. And what I learned about that business foundation, which everything starts with the foundation, yeah. right? Even when you're building, you have to test the soil first, mm -hmm. right? You have to send engineers out, mm -hmm. and then you have to test the material and all those things before you can build up, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing for a business. Most people build a business that is that does not have a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. And when the big bad wolf, like the pandemics and um, recessions hit, right? Those business are unsustainable mm -hmm. and they fail. Yeah. But when you build a business, with a solid foundation, right? Then you qualify to do business like with, with government agencies and corporations and, the, and, and to attract those type of premium buyers mm -hmm. who will pay you like quantum leaps mm -hmm. of income, wow. right? Yeah, <laughs> Just yeah, like yeah. you will have huge cash infusions when you attract the right type of customer. And so yeah. business, building a business foundation is so very key, but not only does it allow you to build a, a, you know, a, a lucrative business and attract premium buyers, but you can also qualify for funding, mm. build business credit, and that is the game to getting into the wealth game. Mm. So the type of business that I teach when it comes to government contracting is creating wealth mm. for generations to come, mm. something that you can pass on to your children's children, 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 mm. right? So you can have so much money mm. coming into your business that you won't know what to do with mm. it but when you get into that game because it's there's so many levels to it right with new levels of course there's new problems that needs to be solved and yeah. that problem becomes like, well how do I keep this money right yeah. and so you get into more wealth strategies and so I teach like that particular mm. approach because yeah. that's long term yeah yes yeah, yeah. No, I, no, I love it because I feel like you know when you think about it's, it's almost like real estate right when you mm -hmm. think about real estate uh, you got people who are wholesalers. Yep. Uh, you got people who fix and flip. flip. You got people who buy yes. and hold. Yes. Uh, and and what it sounds like, you know, uh, from your perspective, you know, your way of uh, of teaching government contracts yes. is more like buy and, buy hold, and hold, right? Yes. Because it's like you know, you know, just quick real estate, right? For my my insiders, it's out some there, quick money, right? Right. right? Wholesalers, quick, quick money, money, right? Middleman, right? you yeah. know what I'm saying? You, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. find a distressed property, absolutely. You find somebody who wants to buy the property, yeah. You you know, yeah. you middleman. You get paid that way. Exactly. Fix and flip, same thing. Quick money. Yes. Right. You find a property, you buy it if you have the capital. You yes. fix it, and then you sell it for higher. You get the money. Absolutely. Right? So these are all quick money. Yes. Buy a hole. You find them the property. You fix it up, but then you're holding Hold on it. to it, right? So now not only do you get the appreciation of yes. you know the the uh, the equity that's in that house, you also you know if you rent it out, you're getting the cash flow of that house and the appreciation. Absolutely, and that's how you build wealth, wealth. in real estate, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And so you know from from your perspective, you know being able to teach government contracting to a point where uh, you're going business to government, mm -hmm. and and now you know you know making sure that those businesses are the right businesses, right, mm -hmm. for the government. Yes. That allows you to infuse money into your business. Yeah. But then also, um, you know, uh, grow your business yes. and be able to continue to do business yeah, yeah. with the government, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, so, so talk to me a little bit about, um, you know, how do you um, – like, what are, what are they looking for? Like, is it – like, looking for government contracts, is it – um, competitive is if it's is it something that um, you know like like what are some of the nuances yeah. of trying to secure a contract? So 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 before I answer that, I I also want to, want to share um, that the re like another reason why I teach long term sustainability mm -hmm. and and creating wealth is because. I grew up in an urban community. Mm -hmm. Nobody teaches you about financial prosperity. Facts. Nobody teaches you any of those things. And I grew up in an area where there was a lot of blight and mm -hmm. I always wanted to provide a solution. And so I teach entrepreneurs how to be what I coin solutionaries. Like mm -hmm. if you solve a problem for yeah. the government, it will make you rich, yeah. right? And so for me, that is so very important mm -hmm. to teach people how to be the change they wanna see in their yeah. community. And so yeah. not only are they 
be becoming rich for themselves and creating yeah. financial prosperity for their families, mm -hmm. but they're able to take those fundings and that money back into their communities, mm -hmm. which is different. And so this is how you have the power instead of doing marches. Now mm -hmm. we get to buy the black back, mm -hmm. those types of things, right? Yeah, yeah. Instead of complaining about the miseducation of education systems and what they're t not teaching our kids. Mm -hmm. Now you get to hire the right teachers mm -hmm. because you have money and money is power. Right. Absolutely. And so yeah. that right there, yeah. I, I, I want to just make sure that people understand yeah. the power of government contracts yeah. and that your business is not just for you. Your business is for a purpose. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so I, ha I show people how to have a purpose driven business. Mm -hmm. Now, now what is, what is the government? Uh, what are the nuances for government um, contracting? Like, what do you have to have? What, what are they looking for? Typically, Typically, they're looking for quality people, mm. right? And in order for you to have a quality business, it goes back to that business foundation, mm. right? So you have to have the right business foundation. They're looking for people who who are eager, right, to learn as they grow, mm. right? You don't have to know everything. You don't have to be a complete expert. In fact, um, the first contract that I landed, it was for photography. My background was in video production. Mm. So now for me, I knew absolutely nothing about aperture, right, right. nothing about lighting, yep. nothing about, you know, prime lenses. I didn't know nothing about that. Yeah. But the first contract that I landed was yeah. for photography. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I could go take a picture, yeah. right? And, and it was, and, and it's like, Similar worlds, yeah. right? Because video is nothing but still frames yeah. put together, right? Yeah. So so I knew that I can do the work, right? And I was determined, but I learned along the way, mm. right? So $70,000 literally changed my life that wow. year. And then what I did was I looked back and I said, well, what did I do? to get this one and I landed another one on top of that, mm. another one on top of that, wow. and another one on top of that. And before I knew it, I went from making twenty, thirty thousand dollar a year mm. a year to two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars in a single month <laughs> for less than part time wow. doing something I had very little skills. Wow. Right? So you don't have to be an expert. You just wow. have to be willing to do the work, yeah. right? And yeah. so that's what they look for. They look for people who are eager to do the work and to learn and get paid to learn, mm. right? <laughs> that yeah. type of stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so they look for people who deliver on their promises because if you promise to deliver a certain service or a certain product to the government, right, and then they pay you for that, you want to make sure that you're delivering quality product and quality services. That's, that's it, yeah. right? Yeah. And they're looking, and literally it's crazy because socioeconomic disadvantages that we have as um, black and brown people and people who come from like urban disadvantaged, you know, uh, what you call it, impoverished communities and yeah. stuff like that. Like normally you would think, oh, woe is me, mm. right? Yeah. But the government say, yes, woe is you. Here's this money that I have for you to help you fix that situation, wow. right? So it's all about perspective and yeah. how you look and how you look at it. Yeah. And they're looking and they're literally begging mm people yeah. to come get this money mm. and we're talking about trillions of dollars yeah. right yeah. there is no way that you can do business with the government and not at least generate a million dollars mm. even as a broke entrepreneur right wow. now wow wow yes and so a couple of reasons why you know this is like powerful information i think mm -hmm. first and foremost um you know, like you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. like you are a wife you are a mother like mm -hmm. you literally um with this time, you literally are allowed to, yes. you know, yes. be a mother, be a wife, yes. and take yes. care, you know what I'm saying, and have yes. fun and travel and do all, all those, those things, things. All those things. And still, yep. you know, uh, make a, a lot of money. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Providing services to the mm -hmm. government. Mm -hmm. um, but then also, this kind of changes the perspective, you know, because I think that. Um, you know, to be honest, like me, I don't trust the government, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but my, my lack of trust for the government comes from um, legal things yeah. from the past, uh, Jim Crow laws, right, right. Uh, redlining, mm -hmm. you know, things mm -hmm. even from a financial perspective. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And so I've always taken the, the aspect of Nah, like, yeah, yeah. like I'm good right. on the government, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. do for self. Right. But, you know, this has given me a different perspective because, um, there, you know, when you look at the stats of our community, mm -hmm. um, the government is the largest employer yes. of black, black and brown people, mm -hmm. right? And then the second largest employer of black and brown people are entrepreneurs, yeah. right? And so... To know that this lack of trust, if you will, of the government yeah. is like, nah, I don't want my people working for the government, yeah. but 
I'll take your money because it ain't really your money. It's, I, it's, it's like, our I'm, money. I'm anyway. a taxpayer. Exactly. You're a tax. Exactly. Everybody, we pay yeah, taxes. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's really our money. You know that the government <laughs> is giving us back. Yes. And then now we could tip the scales, right? So if you're yes. watching this and you're an entrepreneur and you care about your community and yes. you care about taking back the control, yeah. Right? Because at the end of the day, jobs could go. Right. Yeah. And then, and then, what do you have? Yeah. But if you are entrepreneur. Yeah. And specifically, though, I'm talking to you. You can't unhear this. <laughs> specifically, if you are a struggling entrepreneur trying to figure out how you can make ends meet, tap into government contracting because the money is there for you. Absolutely. You could use that money to now hire people, and circulate money back into the community yes. and become the solution yes. instead of um, still being salty or being like, all right, the government did this in the past, so right. F the government, nah, you know, give, you me, give me mine. <laughs> so, so, like, I, I talk to people about that particular thing all yeah. the time. It's like, we, a lot of times we do view the government as a um, as, as an, an enemy, as an enemy, yeah. right? The, yeah, yeah. the ops, right? Yeah, yeah. And so for me, like I'm a very spiritual person, yeah. and, and it reminds me of the scripture that uh, it, that specifically says, mm -hmm. "I will make your enemy your footstool." Ooh, mm, that's so Say powerful, that. right? And so when you think about it from that perspective, mm. it's like all the government that oppressed the people. Mm now have these pools of money that's mm. hidden in plain sight. But wow. if you're smart enough, if you read, wow. if you read and understand, yeah. right, because there's riches in books. Mm. If you read and understand that the reparations is hidden Ooh. inside government contracts Ooh. for entrepreneurs, you can go Say get that. your 40 acres and a mule. It's not going to come from an external source. Right. It's going to come from within, yeah. right? So if you have a business, having a business is one of the most significant, most powerful things that you can create. But most people don't know what they have. Mm. They don't know what they have, right? Yeah. Yeah. Your business will create wealth for you. Mm. But you have to be not willing to learn yeah. how to get out of your own way and to do it the right way, yeah. right? So allow the government to fund your legacy. Mm. Yes, the government is funding my legacy. Mm. Um, before doing government contract i own no land mm. i own no real estate mm. i couldn't afford those things yeah. now i own more than 10 acres of land mm. the government funded that legacy mm. and now i can pass it down to my children mm. right i own properties and mm. real estate and have rental property the government funded that legacy and mm. it literally changed my life so i was able to stand on the enemy's back mm. to get and to accomplish things that society say i would never mm. have accomplished because statistically I was supposed to end up a, a teen mom mm, pregnant. Wow. Statistically, I wasn't supposed to have a college degree. None, yeah. none of those things. Statistically, I was supposed to end up on drugs and mm. and and on the street. And statistically, mm. I was supposed to continue to pass down mm. the um, middle class mindset yeah. of working for paycheck to paycheck and barely making ends meet yeah. and continuing to allow the government to tax me mm. because poor people are taxed the most, right? right? Facts. <laughs> And Poor people are taxed the most, right? And yeah. so in order to get out of that rat race, you yeah. have to learn how to make more money. Yeah. The more money you make, the more time you That's buy back. Honestly. And time is the most valuable asset that Why? we all have, right? Yeah. So the more time you have to enjoy life, mm -hmm. right, while you're creating legacy, yeah. like, it's a win-win. That's a win-win. <laughs> so what, what's the, like, so, so you, um... You know, you are are not a coach, right? So yes. not only are you eating well, yes. you know what I'm saying, from government contracts, mm -hmm. um, you decided, you know what, I'm you know, I'm abundance is my birthright. Yes, right? absolutely. So I'm not gonna hold all of this information, information. to me because it's yeah. not scarce. There's yeah. enough for everybody, everybody. out there. And yes. so, <laughs> you know, you decided that, you know what? I'm going to start teaching people mm -hmm. um, how to, you know, obtain government contracts. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you, you know, you have students and, you know, mm -hmm. you, you know, and, and when we read your bio um, earlier, uh, you have students that, that have made millions of dollars. Yes. Talk a little bit about your program and, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. and some of the success yeah. your students have had. So for, for me, it was like, because I didn't have a roadmap, it took me a little while longer yeah. than I, w I wish it would have, yeah. right, to get there. And so I created a, a pathway mm -hmm. to help my clients get there faster. I wanted to teach this information because it's not in the books. Nobody teaches it. I have college degrees. Mm -hmm. Like, I have a master's degree, a doctor degree, all mm -hmm. this stuff in business, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And never once have I ever heard of government contracts until I talked to to my fellow brother man wow. right wow. and he was like you know what right and you know what i'm gonna tell i'm gonna be mm. the big mouth to tell everybody about this yeah. and so for me i wanted to empower other people who look like me and mm. i wanted to empower other women especially to create millions for themselves mm. because it's there's power in money yeah. right and so um and also so so i have clients mm. that 
come from similar backgrounds, barely making ends meet, all those things, who within their first six to nine months, and some of them even faster than that, are landing quarter of a million dollar contracts. In fact, Remy, I think you may know him, Remy Jules, who's in real estate, yeah. but um, that young man um, landed his first Secured his first $1 million contracts within four weeks of learning the system. So I created a fast track, right, for people. Wow. I just had a client. Her name is um, uh, Magda. Mm. Just yesterday she called me, and she started my program six weeks ago. And she mm. said, you know what? I landed my first $150,000 contract um, doing CPR virtual classes for the government. What? Virtual. You don't even got to get out of your bed. Wow. You know, I'm just you do the, uh, the Zoom dress, put on your top. Right. Wow. <laughs> That's it. And so it's life changing. Yeah. It's changing people's lives. And so for me, it was it was very important to create, um, you know, a, a, a blueprint yeah. to teach other people, because like for me, I, I've never been the crab in a bucket mentality. I've, yeah. I've always wanted to share information. In fact, it's always been a part of just me as a person. Yeah. Whenever I would get information, I would share it. Like even before government contracts, whenever I learned about like how to get free money, that type of stuff, right, like right, right. how did, where to get grants. Like I would always go back and tell people, but sometimes people, you know, they hear this information and it doesn't, you know, they like, they don't do anything with it. Yeah, and so, yeah. um, but for me, it's still my job to continue to empower people with information that can change their life because like you said the money is there the yeah. only people that are not there are those who are not doing government contracts but when you show up yeah you show up and you can literally change your life man what's the what's the the biggest mistakes you you you've seen uh people make while getting into government contracting uh not being coachable yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> of yep. course that's like the number yeah. one biggest mistake number two is like listening to naysayers mm. right and so a lot of times people make the mistake of like there, there's a, there's a there's a, a few free resources right like google youtube people go through the free sources and they get misinformation um even the sba has programs where they they are misdirecting people and telling them they don't qualify mm. i've had people who's been told by sba ptac and all these other centers that's been designed to teach people about government contracts that they don't qualify mm. specifically the one that sell wigs to the government right. i said baby let me come show you mm. the pathway and now she's selling prosthetic wigs to the veterans department wow. <laughs> administration right wow. Wow. and so Misinformation is a big, you know, is, is, is a big mistake that people make giving up too soon, yeah. not believing in themselves, yeah. accepting other people's nose as their nose, like mm. all of those things. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. have to have faith. Like business is a walk of faith. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, most people say, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Mm. Right. You can't mm. see it first. You have to believe it first. Mm. Right. Exactly. You got to believe it. Yeah. If you believe it, then you will take action on it. Exactly. Right. Yeah. If you got to see it. It's not there. Mm. You're not gonna ever take action. You're gonna remain exactly where you are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. faith is a is a is a huge component in, in in being successful. Wow. That's that's so powerful. And so like, you know, how do we change the mindset, you know, of our people, right? Because, um, you know, I believe this wholeheartedly uh, that we are living in a time where it is the easiest to make a lot, a lot of, money. of money. Like it's yes. the easiest time. Like ridiculous right? money. <laughs> um, and, and I think that because, you know, a lot of us were, you know, I mean, our, our parents didn't know better. Yeah. Uh, our community didn't, didn't know better. So they did the best that they could. Mm -hmm. They they tried to give us information that they thought was good information, like mm -hmm. um, go to school, get a job, work hard, retire and then live happily ever after mm -hmm. um you know those of us who um have uh, cracked the code uh yes. you know uh, <laughs> uh, you know figured out the combination to the yeah. safe yeah be inside the vault right right um some you know those of us that figured it out are like hell like that ain't even halfway the way you know? yeah like, it's absolutely to the point where like you know i you know i got a 14 and 8 year old and i'm like they're not even like, we're not even on that time. We're on entrepreneurship. Yeah. Let's get money right now. You yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, there's a lot of people who, um, you know, I, I have, you know, friends. I have family members. I have people that I, you know, that, I, that I'm trying to convince. Yeah. You know, that, so um, you know, you know, making a lot of money in a short period of time is, is, is the it? wave. Right. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And we're and again we're living in a in a great time. Wealth transfers are happening, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people fight for their limitations. Like a lot yeah. of people mm -hmm. will fight you, fight against you know um, what even if you even if you show them 
Yeah. Right? Like, even if you are the example, People right? Like, limited, you're the example, yeah. I'm the example. Limited even if beliefs. we become the example... There's still people like making excuses yes. as to why it wouldn't work for them. Yeah. How do we ch start to change that mindset specifically you know, as it relates to like government contracting? Yeah, no, that's a really good question. Um, for me, I take people through a five day experience and I show them the money. Mm. I, sh I help them understand where the money resides. Mm. Right. One of the demonstrations that I like to kind of explain, like so say, for instance, um, we're in Atlanta. Whenever you see a crane go up, mm. if you're an entrepreneur, you better be thinking about how can I get a piece of that pie? Mm. Because those construction sites have tr multi, they, they're multi-trillion dollar projects, mm. number one. Mm. Number two is the, city, it, the city ordinance is they're obligated to utilize local businesses. Mm. They're obligated to utilize women-owned, minority-owned businesses mm. on those projects, right? Disadvantaged businesses on those projects. Well, well. Construction sites, they need to they need to feed people. Yeah. There's catering. Mm. They have events, right? Ribbon cutting ceremonies, um, community events and then that's event planning, mm. right? Um, they have fencing around. A small business can can install that, mm. right? Because they have to utilize you, yeah. right? Yeah. They have porta potties, mm. right? If you have a small business and you provide porta potties, mm. there you go. They all every person on that site has to wear PPE gear. Mm. The hard hats, the hard shoes. So if you're in the clothing or uniform business, boom, there's your there's a contract right there. Mm. They have to have site surveillance, so that's video wow. site what uh you know live feeds, right? Wow. They have to have photography of what's happening before the construction mm. for mitigation purposes. Mm. What's happening after they have to have small business success stories on those products so it's money everywhere wow, wow, most wow. people don't see it yep. so let's just say you're driving down the street right infrastructure we're talking about infrastructure drive down the street on the freeway or whatever well when you're driving by and you see like grass on city properties right there's a landscape contractor who had to do that and it had to be a small business mm. right um, when you see bus stations and there's advertising on the bus stations mm. right communication services, mm. uh, video, uh, like photography, graphic design, like all of that stuff is done by a small business. Mm. When you're driving down the street and there's construction going on also, and you see the traffic sign holders, well, provide, I, I have a client, a, a colleague in, in the Bay Area, I'm from the San Francisco Bay Area, mm -hmm. who has a multi-billion dollar business providing those construction signs. Mm. All it said, like she don't even have to stand there. She just provide the signs mm. that says, go this way. Construction's happening. Wow. Right turn. Stop. Right? So it's like money is everywhere. Most people don't know. It's, wow. it's, it's everywhere, but you have to be enlightened, mm. right, so that you can see where the money resides. Yeah. And once you understand how and who is buying your stuff, mm. you, then you know how to knock on those doors and ask them for your piece of the pie because they're pro they've promised mm. to utilize you. Wow. So you have to take your power back, wow. and you have to let them know, I know. Right. <laughs> Y'all got money. And the crazy part about it is, they have to spend that money. Right. So what happens at the end of the fiscal year, they're no, they're no, for the most part, because a lot of entrepreneurs are not showing up for the money, then they're calling people who are registered and they're like, hey, can you come get this money? Because we got to spend it down. Right. And so they cannot leave the fiscal year in the green. They wow. have to leave it in the red. Otherwise, their money will not be replenished. And so and that's a good point. Right. Mm hmm. For those who are action takers, because if you take action and you start getting government contracts, mm -hmm. then that means you're in the system now. Yes. And then, you know, you can continue to get government contracts, but yep. then also um, you become a pool of or like a resource. Yeah, for them. For the government, yep. mm -hmm. you know, once they are aware, aware and looking for, for, yeah. for contracts. So is there like. Um, advantages or like some best, you know, practices as it relates to connecting with your, you know, like your government office. Like, is it, you know, are, are there particular people that you're looking for? Mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. it a website? Yep. Like what, like, like yeah. what is the, the best practice to kind of secure? Yeah. So best practices. So I have ideally a four point uh, methodology that I um, empower my my um, my clients with, and that is it's called the BCMP mm -hmm. system, right? 
B stands for business foundation. First, you have to have your business foundation mm. set correctly. Um, M stands for, I mean, C stands for certification. So mm. it's not enough just to be a minority-owned business or a woman in business or a disadvantaged or local business, right? Mm. There's an application process that you have to go through to officially be designated with mm. that, right? Mm. And with that, I, I call that the golden ticket, mm. right? Um, and with that, it gives you power to be able to Go to these agencies, right, the marketing piece, and let them know who you are, what certifications you have, how you can help them resolve their problems, mm -hmm. right, because you have to be a problem solver, mm -hmm. and, and that you're interested in participating in their local obligation spins, mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have to do that. They have to know. They don't know that you exist because you have a business license. They don't even know. Yeah. Right. So you have to look for the contracting officers, um, the uh, the small business liaisons mm -hmm. at agencies and let them know that you exist and mm -hmm. stay on their radar. And then once you're on their radar, anytime something comes up that falls within your wheelhouse, if you're at top of mind, they're going to call you first. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then lastly, the P, it stands for proposals. Right. Mm -hmm. Respond to the opportunities that they're putting out. They'll start emailing you mm -hmm. like here's opportunities or you can go to the websites and look at the opportunities that they're they're asking for services mm -hmm. or products of. Right. And then you just respond to there. It's a call and response thing. Wow. Right. Wow. That's so powerful. Like I like I'm really like, you know, if 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 somebody if y'all haven't paused this yet <laughs> and hit the description, right, to join Kawana, Dr. Kawana D's five day challenge, and I need y'all to do that. Um, talk about that challenge and yeah. uh, the the experience that you're going to be taking them through in, for five days. Absolutely. So it's definitely a, an emerging experience. Yeah. And for those who participate in the five day challenge, you will never view business the same. Mm -hmm. Like we are uncovering multiple millions of dollars, pots of money. So yeah. I show them pots of money. Not only do you come and you learn about how to qualify for government contracts, you know exactly what you need to have mm. to get started. You learn who is buying your stuff and how much they're spending on it. Yeah. So you understand your value. Mm. So most people have a goal of like, you know, making six figures. Yep. That's small. Yeah. When they see the money that's on the table, yeah. we help you raise the roof of that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Raise the threshold. Um, because after you add up all the monies that's specifically promised to you mm -hmm. from the government, that goes from like six figures to multiple millions. That mm -hmm. goal easily, yeah. right? Yeah. By the end of the challenge, you will be pre-qualified to actually sell to the government. And wow. so it's a really amazing experience. I recommend everyone, before you can yeah. even work with me in my program, because mm -hmm. I don't work with everyone inside my, my larger program, mm -hmm. it's like you have to get pre-qualified and you have to really understand this stuff because I want to make sure that people are ready yeah. and they're equipped to succeed seed in this yeah you know it's not for people who want to make quick money it's not for that it's, mm. it's, it's not for that it's for people who literally want to create generational wealth yeah. change their life build a legacy yeah you know go back to their communities and bring these monies in, in, and be the change maker yeah. that's yeah. what it's for yeah. right yeah. and so um so the gov the govcon challenge is like the best greatest experience and and i'm just like honored to be able to present that to people yeah and i and i love it again because you know i think that um, you know, a lot of what we do on the show is really uh, introducing different uh, business concepts, right, mm -hmm. and helping people, you know, get in business. But then a lot of people are struggling, yeah. right, once they do get into business. And this is, um, I mean, we've done shows on, you know, other people's money, right, you, <laughs> you know, going to banks and, yes. and, you know, using credit to build an asset um, yes. and then buy an income producing, you know, uh, income producing asset. Right. Um, but even in that, there's this there's, there's risk, right? Yeah, because right. you go to a bank, you get a loan that might be, you know, personally guaranteed yeah. off your business. You use that money to now buy a property. There's no guarantee yeah. that that property is going to be cash flowing for right, you, right? Right. But in this particular case, like literally, if somebody's having issues. Yeah with, mm -hmm. you know, funding I'm so or glad. getting access to capital, <laughs> you're literally getting the money from the government and you never have to pay it back. Yes, that like part. they're paying you. Yeah, that part. But also, right, I also want to say, like, for some people, they're, they're in the product space, right? Yeah. And they're, and literally, the government buys products, like all types mm -hmm. of products, from yeah. water to paper clips. And you can, you can get, like, half a million dollar contracts for those types of things. I've wow. seen them, right? Wow. But sometimes when you're in that space, you're in a product-based business, you don't have 
cash flow mm. to to be able to participate in that right. right you may not have the best credit score to be mm. able to to leverage that right yeah. um, but borrowing I'm glad that you mentioned that because borrowing is the only way that mm. you can get ahead mm. in it right yeah. and so um, a lot of times people are like well, if your credit is bad, fix it so that you can get in the game, right. right? So a lot of times people have these, this is the reason why I disqualify myself or why I can't, mm -hmm. right? And that's, and that's their solitude. Like, no, you have to fix that yes, yeah. before you can do this. Now that's. you know you have to take a step back and fix that so that you can get in the game, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and most people look at debt or borrowing as debt or as a bad thing, but yeah. borrowing yeah. is the only way to get rich. Absolutely. Most of the, all of the, like every rich and wealthy person that I've ever read about and yeah. know about has borrowed facts. the money, That's right? In fact, it's a spiritual biblical thing. In mm -hmm. fact, so um, Elijah's wife in the Bible, mm -hmm. the, the um, you know, the widow, mm -hmm. right? So the widow in the Bible, Elijah came to her and he he asked her for her bread, right? Mm -hmm. He said, God told me to come here, come to you and get a piece of bread, right? And so this widow, she said, well, all I have is this little bit of oil, mm -hmm. right? Most businesses, all I got is a couple of pennies. I can't, mm -hmm. I can't get involved in that business, right? Mm -hmm. I can't grow my business. She said, I have a little bit of oil and a little bit of flour and my my idea was to, to bake my last piece of bread so me and my son can lay down and die, mm -hmm. right? A lot of times people are ready to give up mm -hmm. because of their situations and because of their circumstances. Right. But the man of God, he said, he said, well, go borrow mm -hmm. the oil, mm -hmm. right? She said, borrow. Yeah, he was teaching her entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. He was teaching her how to create wealth. That's the wealth principle. Mm -hmm. He said, go borrow the oil and bring it back to me. And so she borrowed oil from everybody who owed her and everybody in the community who would give her the oil mm -hmm. and came back with so much abundance, not only was she able to help him, she helped herself and she was able to actually make money with the overflow, wow. right? Yeah. And so borrowing, mm -hmm. I mean, this is not a new thing. That's a Bible bar. That's a, I'm just saying, <laughs> you have to borrow money to get rich. Yeah. If you don't have it, yeah. figure it out. Use yeah. other people's money. Yeah, and, I, and, and, I, and I'm glad that you said that because again, like, like that, that's really one of those things that holds us back in our community, yes. right? Where we see an opportunity um, to really not even change just our lives, right? Yeah. To change our families' lives, uh, to change our community's lives. Um, and we look at these opportunities and don't take advantage of them yeah. at, the, at the at the moment of the opportunity yes. like we make these excuses Excuses. and we you know you know you know stop ourselves and we block yeah. ourselves and we like yeah. no you know i'm not gonna take out uh debt to, to make do money the, it don't make sense it don't make sense it don't make sense it don't make sense <laughs> especially if you know again i always say this because you know um you know i always tell people do their research you know you know make sure you're connecting with people who have have a track record of doing this, yeah. um, and you've been doing this for a, a while. Yes. Uh, you have receipts. You've been doing this at a high level, teaching people. And not only have you've gotten success, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Um, you've also helped a lot of other people have success as well. And I think that's the true uh, test, yes. if you will. Uh, of, 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 you know, if somebody has knowledge or not, is the, their ability to, to be teach. able to say, hey, can I help somebody else have the success, yeah, right? Like absolutely. When the, you know, like I've been super duper successful, yes. but I don't have to talk about my success so much because I've helped so many other, other people, people have success. And so now you don't have to only look at me, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. You could, well, well, what's the saying? You could tell the strength of a tree by the, by the fruit that it bears, bears or something like that, yep, right? Uh -huh. And so, so you could tell, like, like yeah. if, if I'm a strong tree, which my name is Ash, yeah. Ash is, 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 a, is means strength, like it's a part, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a tree, Absolutely. right? So if I'm a strong tree, then it's Ash producing fruits, fruits. right? Yeah. Are there students, are there people that can say, hey, Ash helped me make some money, yes. and that's what, you know, you've been, been able to do, yes. uh, really just exposing people to get into government contracting. Yes, so, absolutely. Listen, y'all, I need y'all to go <laughs> join Dr. Kawana D in her five-day challenge. Go to InsideGovContracts.com. The website is right below, uh, but, but make sure y'all tap in. And here's the other, and y'all know, if y'all been watching this show, uh, y'all know me by now. Um, the reason why... You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of um, either free master classes or, um, you know, five day challenges where, uh, you know, you, you, you know, you invest a small amount. Yes. Um, but you actually 
get an opportunity to spend time yep. with whoever you're going to be learning right from, from, right? Absolutely. Um, and I'm, I'm a big fan of that because, you know, I believe that, you know, there's a lot of people out here um, who, li you know, they, they watch a podcast. Yeah. Or, <laughs> right? They watch a podcast or they read a book. Yeah. And then, and then all of a sudden they're an expert. expert. Like all of a sudden they know the ins <laughs> yeah. and out of it. Yeah. And then now they're teaching. In fact, like I won't, I, I ain't going to call you out. But in fact, um, you know, there's a, there's, a, there's a gentleman that, you know, you know I follow. Yeah. And, you know, I know who his mentor is, yeah. right? Like, his mentor is a close friend of mine. Yeah. And I'm following this dude, and I'm watching, and I'm like, yo, why does it sound like my guy? Yeah. And literally, <laughs> um, you know, he's regurgitating every single thing yeah. that, you know, that, that my guy, you know, says, yes. uh, even in mannerism and cadence and thing. And the problem with that um, is, be, is, is that... Um, People start to believe you. Yeah. Um, and so if you're just like hit the link in my bio, you know, somebody might just buy something based on what you're saying that you're copying from somebody else. Exactly. But when you do a five day challenge, you learn the person. You, right. You learn the person. You learn the information. Um, I don't believe that it's possible that somebody could fake for five days. Exactly. Like, like <laughs> you will be exposed. Yes. <laughs> if you a fraud, you spend five days in a challenge with somebody, yeah. you will be, be exposed. exposed at the highest level. level. Um, but then also, I think I think what, what, what makes it uh, good as well mm -hmm. is because the five-day challenge is an opportunity to uh, really, um, you know, test each other too, yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. it's almost like, all right, come into this five-day challenge, uh, especially if somebody does VIP, yeah. they get to actually talk to you. They get to actually ask you questions, and you guys get to feel each other's energy. Yes. Right? So now when it's time to, you know, um, work with you further, right, you both get to make a decision. You, yes. you, you both get to say, you know what, like, like, is this person coachable? Is this yes. person ready to go yes. to the next level? Yes. Um, and so, and so that, that, that's a wonderful thing. So make sure yes, absolutely. that go to InsideGovContracts.com. Make sure you tap in with Dr. Kawana D. Um, give, it, give us, um, you know, some advice or, so, you know, some, some last parting words um, again, for those who are, uh, you know, maybe stuck in their ways, um, maybe, you know, they've been looking for um, a sign. You are that sign, right? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, give give some, some parting words for those who, you know, just may be struggling right now. Well, I, I would say, like, a lot of times when people hear about government contracts, they're trying to figure out um, what can I sell to the government or what do I do, right? Um, and I always say start with, who you are mm. and be true to what you're passionate about, right? Yeah. Because when you build a business around purpose and passion, yeah. right, then you're, you'll never have to work another day in your life because you're doing exactly what you were called to do, right? Yeah. So start there. Yeah. So if you were really good with kids, start with child care. They have mm. contracts for that, wow. right? If you were really good with talking to people, start with consulting, mm. right? Start with um, con uh, 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 counseling, right? Mm. They have con contracts for counseling services wow. as well. Wow. You know, if you're, if you're really good at building, start with construction or some type of trade, right? Wow. And so just start with who, who you are. Um, but for those who like are just kind of like, oh, I don't really know if this can work for me. Just know that you have to um, pour into yourself yeah. and give yourself permission to be great. Because government contracting, like the, the money, making the money is easy. Yeah. The hard work comes comes with you becoming the person. Mm. Right. That personal That's professional development is 80% of the work. That's if you can work on you, the business stuff is, is going gonna, is gonna to work itself out, right? right? So just show up for yourself, work on, continue to work on you, yeah. and just know that this road, right? So Steve Jobs, he, he talks about, one of my favorite quotes by Steve Jobs is like, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. Mm. You can only connect it looking back. Mm. Well, Dr. Kawana D says you can absolutely connect the dot looking forward mm. when you design the life and the business that you want, mm. right? Because yeah. when you design it and you believe that it can happen for you, then you create action steps. Mm. If you create that action step, right, it's like a GP, GPS in your way to success, mm. and you take that action, mm. connecting the dots forward, mm. then there's no way that you cannot land on the very thing that you targeted to land on mm. in the first place because you designed the life that you want to live. Mm. 
Bars. <laughs> Government bars. <laughs> um, there you have it, y'all. Make sure y'all tap in. Dr. Kawana D is having a five-day challenge. She's going to teach you everything about government contracts so you can make a decision for yourself how easy it is to secure the bag. Listen, we always talk about reparations. We talk about the 40 acres and the mule. Instead of waiting and, and hoping and trying to elect the right people so that can happen, you can get access to the 26 trillion dollar secret that is hiding in plain sight go to insidegovcontracts.com um if they wanted to connect with you where can they find you so you can find me on at uh carwanity speaks on instagram um dr carwanity on facebook yep all right y'all and and meet her right matter of fact be her there at the Inside Government Contracts Challenge. Go to InsideGovContracts.com. We are closing out the vault. Another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Before we even close out, y'all, I need y'all to share this video. If, if, if you look, if you've ever... If you care about your, your loved ones, if you want them to, 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 you know, you need some support and you want them to jump on this as well, there is more than enough for everybody. everybody. Do not keep this to yourself. Do not yes. say, yo, I'm going I'm to I'm check this out first and then I'm going to see. No. Share this video with all your friends, your family, your colleagues. I know you're watching this at work, right? So share this with your colleagues. Tap them. Be like, look, check this out. Dr. Kawada D is going to give us the sauce. So make sure y'all share this with every single person. Um, again, we're closing out the vault. Make sure you go to our website, InsideTheVaultShow.com. Follow us on all social media platforms at Inside the Vault. Me, I am Ash Cash. Make sure you visit me, I am Ash Cash. Dot com. Follow me on all social media platforms at I am Ash Cash. Make sure you join our abundance community. Dr. Kawana D got some behind the scenes, some gems that she ain't drop on the show. You know, we got all, you know, look, we got some, some extra bonus footage for you. So join us in our abundance community. Go to abundancecommunity.org. I will see you next time, same time, same place, in God's will. Peace. <laughs>